Hello folks, I hope you're all doing well. I'm just flying over Bristol and thought I'd share a snippet of this uh, flight. This is a, another photogrammetry area in the UK and uh, I've just flown from here with the CRJ actually from right at the top of Scotland which uh, I will probably feature in a video uh, at some point in the future but I just wanted to uh, chat a little bit about NVD drivers again <laughs> because I have uh, actually changed my mind guys and I do apologize I hope uh, it's not gonna annoy you too much <laughs> but this is just you know I never profess to be um, a technical wizard on this kind of thing at all but I'm actually I've gone back to the 347-30 driver look at those cars underneath that bridge that kind of breaks the immersion a bit but I must admit it's absolutely spectacular look at that bridge there wowzers this is actually a really incredible photogrammetry area it's a uh, very it's quite large I think it's bigger than a London area but yeah I've gone back to it simply because I've been experimenting a bit more and I'm now using um, what they call hags h-a-g-s it's basically a gpu scheduling feature of windows i'll put it on the screen now of where you can find that um, and basically i had that off previously with this driver but i find that with this on it's actually far better on performance than the uh, latest nvidia drive in fact actually i think there's been another update so I'll put on the screen now which one I was using prior to this look at those caravans down there <laughs> this is absolutely spectacular and I'm using the Reverb G2 with motion projection enabled although I will say that the performance in photogrammetry areas like this does suffer so I've backed my render scale off to 80% now I'm quite happy to do that because my head is outside the cockpit when I'm uh, looking at scenery like this and it's still very sharp for me so that's not an issue to be honest look at this I, I found this there uh, because I've been flying around here for about 50 minutes to an hour and I thought you know what I'm gonna show this on the channel I've just got to <laughs> and this looks like there's some sort of concert happening here look at that that is incredible just these photogrammetry areas are absolutely brilliant I mean I know they're a little bit they are a bit grainy they're not like super detailed there is some work to do particularly in the UK area look at that that's either a load of parked cars or perhaps a massive traffic jam in fact we'll go down to the main area the main city center because that is really spectacular now I've also tried this with my 1080 Ti machine 8600k and it's basically the same results I'm getting the same performance gains so um, I think it's unanimous that driver is still the best and I've, I've got it saved in my locked vault with my guard dogs you know protecting it <laughs> hello my name is little Dennis and I like to cuddle with my daddy often when he's asleep at the moment I'm having a bit of a nap but later on I might go for a walk I don't know yet but I thought I'd say hello to everybody thanks for coming I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye. Because it really is that good. Um, I don't know why. I can't really go into the technical reasons why. Look at this. This is insane. I'm like 300 feet above the deck here. Oh, wow. It's, it's just better. Now, I'm using the Windows Mixed Reality Mirror at the moment. So, uh, it might look a little bit crappy. So, apologies. You know, VR is such a hard thing to, uh, to show on YouTube it's very challenging and I really hope that in the uh, not so you know distant future <laughs> that a Sobo will give us a native view so it'll be a lot easier to showcase how smooth this really is in the headset oh wow now, I'm using the uh, the Robin DR400 I think it's called which is a really nice touring machine actually it's really nice on frame rate This is so good. Oh, I have tried this with the Quest 2 as well, actually, and uh, it's very nice as well, very smooth. But I have to say the Reverb G2 is the absolute best headset for this kind of thing. If all you're doing is flight simming and maybe the odd high-end PC game, there really is no other headset out there that uh, surpasses the G2, in my opinion. 
especially when you consider that a lot of people don't want to uh, log in with their Facebook account. <laughs> I've been getting so many comments about that recently. For me, it doesn't bother me. I've already got a Facebook account, so they've already got my data, but for a lot of people, that's a big deal. Look at that manor house down there, wow. This is spectacular. Right, we're gonna, uh, uh, yeah, tell you what we'll do. We'll go to the docks, because this photogrammetry area is so, it's just massive. I'm sure it's bigger than London. And what we'll do is we'll uh, head down there and see what we can uh, check out. Do you know, these photogrammetry areas are quite profound in a way because it's a snapshot in time. Each car that was, uh, you know, photographed at that moment in time was somebody going somewhere. I wonder where they are now. It's just how I think, you know, I can, I can be quite uh, <laughs> analytical with these sorts of things, but I just find it incredible how you can really see a snapshot in time of what was going on at that moment in really fine detail as well. But yeah, so really to uh, sum up this little uh, video, I am now back using the 347-30 driver. I find that works really well with the Reverb G2 on both my systems, the 1080Ti machine and the 3090 machine which is quite astonishing really and all that's left for me to say is you know Nvidia sort this out come on you know it's the drivers at the moment are a bit of a mess and they they need to pay attention to us VR users I don't know what the hell is going on but uh, for a driver that old to be still working is just unforgivable really it's uh, it's ridiculous I can't say it any uh, plainer than that really now, some of this photogrammetry area you can see here, some of it looks better than others. I think Asobo have got some work to do as well to make this better. I think the UK is the worst area in the whole of the uh, the world of Microsoft Flight Simulator in terms of its photogrammetry, which is a bit frustrating for me, being from here. I think uh, Southampton looks amazing, and uh, like Seattle, I've been touring around there recently. It's part of my world tour. That looks amazing. But uh, yeah, it can look a bit grainy and a little bit dodgy in places and some of that might be my internet connection but because it looks so good in other areas it has to be in part due to the uh, data. So hopefully that can be you know, sorted out over time. I think I'm getting a bit low on fuel actually. I've got a warning light. That just shows you how much fun I've been having. <laughs> We best make our way back to Bristol. Look at these uh, ships here, wowzers. I still can't believe that we can get away with this level of detail in VR. You do need a very powerful computer without a doubt. And even I uh, backed off my render scale for this particular flight. Whilst recording, you know, it, I just have to, to maintain that smoothness. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> that is amazing. Look at it. Look at the state of that. Oh my goodness me. That is, it never fails to impress me. The level of detail here is absolutely spectacular. Even with the photogrammetry being a little bit grainy in places. You've got to admit guys, the fact I'm doing this in VR as well is insane epic fun look at that cathedral there that is gorgeous the boats there on the river do you know I've never been to Bristol but I kind of want to go now maybe not yet though Unfortunately, the, uh, the city is having some issues at the moment, politically, shall I say. It's a bit of a dangerous place to be right now. And I wish anybody from there, you know, my well wishes, really. And I hope you're safe. And, uh, yeah, just look after yourself. Look at that. that that's a school there, I think. I absolutely love doing this guys this is this kind of flying low down in these areas is just 
mind-blowing. Take care, guys, and I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.